Walcott. The news is that Matthew Briggs has been included in the Guyana squad for the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Everybody's heard that I'm a part of Guyana's Gold Cup squad. I'm already unpacked. Obviously, with the rough few years I've had, I had to take a bit of time out of the international game, but I've always followed Guyana's progress. It just happened so that once I've kind of come through the other side, through everything that was going on in my life, and Guyana qualified, I just thought this is now the right time to try and get back into the programme and obviously spoke to the manager and he wanted me he wanted me a part of the team. My nan, so my mum's mum, is um, was born in Guyana and um, I was always close to my nan and when she passed away and obviously not getting into the England sides anymore, obviously I played from 16 to 21s, so I thought why not change to Guyana? Because I know that it would, um, it would make her proud to, to look down and see me playing for the country she was born in. Imagine this time last year, I mean, I was like down and out when it came to my career and I was working on a building site and now a year on in my career, to ha I've had a fantastic season with Molden and Tiptree and then to be um, called upon by my country to represent them in a Gold Cup is just an unbelievable feeling. What level should or could he be playing at? I think with the attributes that, that Briggs has got, um, he can go Division 1, um, Championship. He knows the weaknesses that he's got in his game, um, but he's got some unbelievable strengths as well. Um, and I think if he was to come and, and, and watch Briggsy, um, whether it be for us or another team, you will see straight away that those attributes hit you straight in the face. You know, he's great at going forward, he's on the front foot, um, he wants to go and attack. Um, and I've had many managers at this level say to me, how is he playing at this level? It's a big, big jump. Um, I mean, non-league football is is nowhere near the same as obviously playing in the pro game. And um, to now be playing in the Gold Cup against the likes of USA, Panama and Trinidad is, is a massive jump and a, and a massive change in the quality of football that I'll be playing. But I mean, it's, it's what I'm used to. It's um, a level that I've always played at throughout my career and I'm just thoroughly looking forward to it. You're playing that Gold Cup, you get your name out there. That's again. what I mean, yeah. Exactly, and, I, and hopefully with this as well, it gets my name yeah, back out there as well, because yeah. people probably forgotten about me. Do you know what I mean? People might listen to me and think, you don't know what you're talking about, but I know my ability, and you could probably ask anyone, any manager, they know my ability, and they know if my, if I'm, my head's in the right place and I'm on the money, that I can, I can do that. And mentally, he needs to prepare himself, and every time you step over the white line, your reputation's on the line. And that's a big message that, that sort of see me through in, in my career and some of the, the messages that I, I try and feed into to the lads. Um, so it's important because you never know who's watching. It offers me experience of international football in a senior game. Um, it raises my profile, gets my name back out there and also gives, gives me a chance to, to let other clubs have their eye on me and potentially get back to the level that I should be playing at. What kept me going through my career, because I got released three times, I kept fighting back, fight. it's just an opinion. I can change an opinion, it's not a fact. Yeah. So when someone tells you you're a bad player, you're not good enough for a level, it's not a fact, it's an opinion. It's great to see Liam again, um, it's been a while. But like he said, it's just a matter of opinions. If they don't like me or they don't fancy me, someone else will. And if they fancy me, then we'll build from there and we'll go. You've got the ability now, with the Gold Cup, to change people's opinions of you again. Yeah, appreciate that, I'll take that into <laughs> Into my thoughts and yeah. change people's opinions. No, thank you, man. It's been a pleasure to see you again. Been long, been too long. Can't wait, to be honest. I mean, I'm optimistic. I'm just excited to get out there and, sh and show everyone again what I can do and just prove all my critics wrong, to be honest. I'm just, in my head, I'm just so focused right now. I just can't wait to get on the pitch and put on a guy on a jersey. It's the first time guy has ever, ever qualified for the Gold Cup and I couldn't be any more proud to be a part of it. It sort of feels like everything's falling into place for me. I mean, you know, you, you have a come up and then you, you come down and now I feel like I'm on the rise again. It almost feels like I'm rising from the ashes again. again. That brings his back. <laughs> Just got on the plane, taken off in about half an hour. And I've got my lucky shin pads, repping a guy in a flag. So let's go and do the business. Time for a message? Go for it. So I've got the, the Gold Cup this, uh, this summer. Um, for all the Guyanese supporters out there, wherever you are, 
get behind the Golden Jaguars, and we're going to rock the Gold Cup. There you go! <laughs> so excited, I can't wait, but here we go, let's do it, Guyana.